welcome back. How's everybody doing? So we're jumping into Mass Effect 2. I not long ago uh, finished Mass Effect 1. My first time playing, just as this will be my first time playing. I really, really, really enjoyed Mass Effect 1. Um, I love the story. I love the <laughs> cursed character that I made. Um, the, the character stories that are, you know, just woven throughout the story are fantastic. Gameplay, fairly simple, but I enjoyed it. Um, my only gripes really were um, some of the side stuff feeling not too impactful. Um, also getting quite samey. And as, as cool as the worlds and the effort went into designing the worlds were, they were very barren at times. But, you know, all in all, really, really strong start to the series. Really enjoyed it. I understand why people love this series already. And I've heard nothing but good things about Mass Effect 2 and 3 as well. So, we're going to jump in. Okay, new game. Oh, we can import the character. Hell yeah. Dinglebird Shepherd, level 50. We were level 53? Damn. Oh yeah, bring it on. Uh, we're going to stick to normal. I think that's what I played on, right? Uh, actually, wait, hang on. What have we got going on here? Okay, so we're going to go veteran then. I, I think we've got a pretty good understanding of what we're doing. Not my first rodeo. And I also don't want it to be a cakewalk. Um, auto level up. No, subtitles. Yes. Squad power usage. Yes. Auto save. Yes. I'm sure I would be dying a bunch. What is this? Oh, okay. This is the character setup. Okay. Now. Dinglebert Shepherd. Rank 53. Oh, does it carry over? Interesting. It's a vanguard. Renegade. Commander Shepard followed the Renegade path. Damn straight we did. There's a Rex. Erdnot Rex survived the mission on Vermeer. Missing in action. Kaiden Alenko was killed on Vermeer. Yeah, well. Uh, council history. The council was lost during the attack on the Citadel. <laughs> council seat. Commander Shepard recommended Captain Anderson for a seat on the council. Sounds good. Let's get to it. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Commander Shepard uncovered the truth. And still, it's not enough. We're at war. No one wants to admit it, but humanity is under attack. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. One month after the devastating Geth attack on the Citadel, humanity seized political control of the galaxy. Now the human-led council is forced to respond to evidence that the Reapers, enormous machines that eradicate all advanced civilizations every 50,000 years, have returned. To quell the rumors, I don't get to keep, keep reading that. Guess I'll die. Disengaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. 
The Terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long-range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly... It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers! Weapons offline! Somebody get that fire out! I'm about to lose my ship already. Ah oh, shit, here we go. Go to the cockpit, get the joke in the cockpit on the upper deck of the Normandy. Mayday! 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 This Jesus. is SSV Normandy! Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Sensitivity is far too high. Crawls. Now, get that down, Jesus. Try 30. Camera. Be fine. Uh, mount. What's another this? Allows for precision camera movements. The slower the mouse is moved, the slower the camera rotates. Fast movements result in fast camera efficiency. E yeah? Question mark? That feel? yeah, it feels that it feels pretty good. Right, up the deck. Is this the same layout? Oh god, not that way. That's your problem right there. Where's Joker? Look how cool this suit looks. To Joker. There's some special force field. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Yeah, I think I like brittle bones or something.
They've got an oxygen leak. How terrifying would that be? Floating off. Oh, gives me shivers. Spicy start though. Mass Effect Genesis is an interactive comic that summarizes the events of Mass Effect 1. Would you like to review the story so far? Sure, why not? Interactive backstory comic. A Dark Horse comics, damn. Impressive. Just another routine mission. Why do they always say that before a mission? Of course it's routine. You haven't done anything yet. It's everything that happens along the way. The choices you make, the paths you choose, that turn the routine into anything but. Of course, that's how it started. A routine mission, answering a distress call. And look where that got me. We were testing out the Normandy, Captain Anderson's new ship, when the distress call came in. An Alliance patrol on Eden Prime had been attacked. They'd seen something they couldn't explain. And whatever it was, it was massive. I hit the ground with my lieutenant, Caden Olenko. A good kid, loyal, by the book, with a talent for biotics. We came across the lone survivor of the patrol. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, a soldier to the core, tough, disciplined, ready to take on whatever came her way. Ashley joined up with us and took us to the spot where she lost her squad. That's when we saw it. The ship. Like nothing I'd ever seen. It was massive, scorching the colony and everything around it as it blasted away. We followed the path of destruction to an artifact. A beacon left by a long-dead race called the Protheans. The colony had dug it up, and whoever attacked them had tried to take it. Chief Williams made the mistake of getting too close. It hit her with some type of energy. I grabbed her and threw her out of the way. That's when it hit me. Hard. Every muscle in my body went rigid. I couldn't move. Could barely breathe. Everything went black. And then I saw something. A vision. A dream nightmare. By the time I woke up, we were halfway to the Citadel on our way to meet the Council. I was expected to explain what I'd seen. Anderson came along. So did Adina, our political representative on the Citadel. With those two heavyweights, it seemed reasonable we could persuade the Council that the ship we'd seen was a potential threat, as was the individual behind the attacks. The main suspect for the Eden Prime Massacre was a Turian Spectre named Saren. He'd been seen by one of the survivors from the colony at Eden Prime, and there was some evidence to suggest that the ship was connected to Saren. But even Adina's pointed accusations weren't enough to convince the Council. They just couldn't believe one of their chosen elite specters could be guilty of something like that. They needed proof. Which meant I needed proof. Fortunately, I wasn't alone in my search. Garrus, another Turian, wanted to help. A top agent for Citadel Security, Despite orders from his superiors that he shouldn't get involved, he told me he was suspicious of Saren, and he had some useful leads. More importantly, he was willing to share them. That led me to Rex, the biggest, nastiest-looking Krogan bounty hunter I'd ever seen. He turned out to be more than just a brute. It was his intel that led to a fugitive with incriminating evidence on Saren. The fugitive turned out to be an energetic little quarian named Tally. A tech expert with a knack for hacking, She'd procured some information on Saren. Evidence that proved Saren was dirty. Tally's evidence proved that Saren was responsible for the massacre on Eden Prime, and that the immense warship we'd spotted was in fact Saren's flagship. But it went much further. Saren was trying to find a way to bring back a race of sentient machines from dark space. Machines allegedly responsible for cleansing the galaxy of all organic life. These Reapers were blamed for wiping out all life 50,000 years ago, including the Protheans, then disappearing back through the mass relays to dark space, leaving no trace they'd ever been. That explained why Saren was after the beacon, and it made some sense out of my visions, but not much else. 
We couldn't convince the council that the Reapers were a threat, but they agreed Saren had to be stopped. They stripped him of his Spectre status and gave me the honor of becoming the first human Spectre. My first task? Bring down Saren. Anderson decided to stay behind, giving up his ship, the Normandy. He told me I would need it more than he would. He also pointed me in a direction. Liara. A Prothean expert, adept in biotics, and maybe most importantly, daughter of Benezia, Saren's top lieutenant. And like most Asari, as beautiful as she is intelligent, and born with a unique ability to meld with other species. Liara was able to help me decipher some of the vision the beacon had given me. Nothing concrete, but it gave me some clues. And a new appreciation for the Asari. Her technique for accessing my vision was unexpected, but not at all unpleasant. Ashley was a little concerned about the connection I shared with Liara. As commander, I knew either relationship had the potential to interfere with the mission. I told Liara about how I felt. Apparently, she'd felt it too. But we agreed we wouldn't let it get in the way of our mission. Finding Saren. At last, but it's not Thanks quite true. Thanks for Liara's help. We had our next lead. Benezia. Saren had taken her to Novaria, where he'd enslaved a dangerous race of insect-like creatures, the Rachni. He ordered Benezia to use the same technique Liara had used on me to extract information from the Rachni Queen. The Queen's drones were everywhere, and they weren't happy. We had to fight through hundreds of them to get to Benezia. By the time we arrived, Saren was gone. With the information. I tried to reason with Benezia, but Saren had indoctrinated her. He had somehow acquired the ability to control people's actions and wills. Benezia wouldn't surrender. And Liara was forced to watch her mother die in her arms. No, she wasn't. She weren't there. And I was left with an angry, dangerous Rachni queen to deal with. She claimed her drones would do no harm if I released her. But the Rachni had terrorized the galaxy before. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't doom an entire species for past sins. And the queen was true to her word. She left and took her army of drones with her. With Saren's top lieutenant dead, he was quickly running out of time and places to hide. I tracked him down at his base on Vermeer, but we soon learned it was more than a base of operations. It was a breeding ground. Saren was breeding an army of Krogan. He'd found a cure for the Genophage, a disease inflicted on the Krogan to prevent them from breeding and taking over the galaxy. But the Krogan Saren was breeding were slaves, mindless beasts that obeyed Saren's will. I had to destroy the base and all its research. Rex disagreed violently. Rex wanted the genophage cure for his people. I tried to convince him to help me destroy it, that these Krogan weren't real. But he wouldn't back down. I'm sorry, but Rex looks so stupid there. Rex is smarter than he looks. He realized this wasn't the way to help his people, and that Saren was the real threat. When we finally got to the center of the base, I realized just how close Saren was to completing his plan. He was already in communication with the Reapers. Sovereign. Saren's flagship we'd all assumed was just a ship. It was a Reaper. It spoke to me. Threatened me. I could feel the menace it had for every living thing. It wanted me dead. It wanted us all dead. And I knew it was capable of doing just that. What I couldn't understand was why Saren would help it. But there was no time to think about it. Sovereign knew where we were. We had to destroy the base and get the hell out. I split up my team in two squads, sending Ash with one and Caden with the other as a distraction. We had a nuke, and we planned to use it. Before we could detonate the bomb, Saren showed up. We fought. I stalled him to make time for my team. And in talking to him, I realized the truth. It wasn't Saren who was indoctrinating everyone. It was Sovereign. The Reaper. And Saren was in deeper than all of them. He tried to convince me he was still in control, said he found a way to reduce the Reaper's influence, but he was kidding himself, or believing the lies Sovereign was telling him. Before I could convince him to stop, he ran, leaving me just seconds to extract my squad mates. I tried, but I wasn't fast enough. I could only save one of them. Caden was a good man, and a great soldier, but I had to choose, and I chose Ash. That was the last time Saren would slip away from me. I knew then, the next time we met, one of us would die. With my team mostly intact, 
we chased Saren and his army to Ilos, a long-lost planet that had once belonged to the Protheans. As we prepared for what we knew would be a desperate fight, I spoke to my crew. We were just one ship, against Saren's growing army. I assured them all that despite the odds, we could defeat him. Liara saw through my words. She knew I was hurting after Caden's death. She could sense my doubts. We both knew this mission could be our last. Until that moment, we'd put our feelings aside for the sake of that mission. But why wait? We gave in to each other. And it was perfect. While it lasted. Eh. We arrived on Ilos, close behind Saren. Once on the planet, we discovered a Prothean databank that helped me put the final pieces of my vision together. The Reapers had come 50,000 years ago. And every 50,000 years before that. Each time purging the galaxy of life. The Protheans had fought and died, like every species before them. But a few survived long enough to leave a parting gift. The Protheans had discovered that the Citadel was the key to controlling the mass relays. By sabotaging the Citadel, they found a way to close the relays to dark space, slowing the Reaper's return, giving us the time we needed to find a solution to stop the Reapers once and for all. Saren knew this. He was leading his army to take control of the Citadel and re-establish the relays to dark space, bringing the waiting Reapers here to destroy us all. We followed him to the Citadel. It was intact, but heavily damaged. He had caught the Council fleets by surprise, and they were only now regrouping. And with Sovereign as his flagship, there was little hope the fleets could counterattack with enough strength to take back the Citadel. But Saren was done running, and I was done chasing him. As the Alliance and Citadel fleets battled Saren's army outside, I cornered the Turian bastard in the Citadel Tower and confronted him. He died believing that the Reapers would save him. As I fought to regain control of the Citadel, the Council's flagship, the Destiny Ascension, fell under attack. Despite Saren's death, Sovereign and Saren's army continued to fight. The Council was aboard the Destiny Ascension, and they were requesting assistance. But I knew in order to help them, I would have to put our Human Alliance fleet in jeopardy. The Council could be replaced. The fleets were needed here and now if we were going to defeat Sovereign. Even with the Citadel back in my control, Saren defeated, and the Normandy leading the combined galactic fleet. The battle against Sovereign, a single Reaper, was relentless. It took the combined fleets of humanity and the other races, but in the end, Sovereign fell. But the costs were immense. While humanity's efforts in the war earned us our first seat on the Council, it was a hollow victory. The Reapers were still out there. I knew the fight was far from over, but, as the one who'd led the fight against Saren, I was given new responsibilities. The choice of humanity's first counselor was left for me to decide. On the one hand, Udina, the lifetime politician. Dickhead. Ruthless and ambitious, he would easily navigate the political landmines that would soon be put in front of him. The other choice, Captain Anderson, the career soldier. Tough but fair, but a friend, and someone I could trust both great leaders in their own right. Anderson didn't want the job, which was a sure sign he'd be perfect for it. No ambition to get in the way. The war was over. The threat had passed. In time, the Council would rebuild itself. The Citadel could be repaired. Even the pain of lost friends would fade. But none of that mattered if the Reapers were still out there. And if they were all as powerful as Sovereign, we had to find a way to stop them. I had to find a way. I gathered my crew, took my ship, and went in search of answers. Officially, the Council would only say I was assigned to cleanup duty, rooting out any remnants of Saren's army. Just another routine mission. That was very well done. I enjoyed that. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned.
<laughs> oh dear. I love him so much. Oh god. Anything different? I don't think so. Actually, I think there's a scar missing, but... Ported face, default appearance... Oh god, no. Uh, what happens if I go custom? Oh dear, I have to completely rebuild? Uh... Nah, I think... It's too good. To carry on. Choose class enhancement procedure. So I'm assuming that we died and they've somehow resurrected us. Or we were in some kind of stasis or something. So I can change class if I so wish. Soldier. High level operatives are outfitted with ocular synaptic processes that allow them to focus on targets with lethal accuracy. Power training. Adrenaline rush. Concussive shot. Weapon training. Assault rifle. Shotgun. Sniper rifle. Heavy pistol. Ammo training. Incendiary cryo disruptor. Okay. So a bit more detail this time, which I'm already a fan of. Soldiers are pure combat specialists. No one is tougher or more effective at taking down enemies with gunfire. Soldiers have the most thorough weapons training and can use all special ammo types. Infiltrator. Oh, cool. Infiltrators are equipped with cloaking systems that allow them to avoid detection for short periods of time, granting a tactical advantage over enemies. Power training, tactical cloak, incinerate, AI hacking. Weapon training, sniper rifle, heavy pistol, submachine gun, ammo training, cryo, and disruptor. That sounds pretty fun, actually. Infiltrators are tech and combat specialists with the unique ability to cloak themselves from visual and technological detection. Infiltrators are deadly at any range with a wide variety of weapons, equipment, and powers that can take down an enemy. Vanguard, which is what I believe we were before. Vanguards are outfitted with L5N implants, enabling them to perform a biotic charge that strikes the opponent with incredible force while bringing the Vanguard in close for short-range combat. Sounds fun. Power training, biotic charge, pole and shockwave. Weapon training, shotgun, heavy pistol, SMG. Power training, incendiary cryo. All sound good. Vanguards are feared for their high-risk, high-reward combat style. Closing quickly on enemies and destroying them at close range with weapons and biotic abilities. Yep, vibing with that so far. Sentinels are equipped with the most advanced ablation armor systems to keep themselves safe. If overloaded, the system will stun all enemies within a short distance. Power training. Tech armor, throw, warp, overload, cryoblast. Weapon training, heavy pistol and SMG. Sentinels are unique, bringing both tech and biotic abilities to the battlefield. While they lack the focus of adepts and engineers, they are versatile and can handle any situation. It seems a bit more tanky, maybe? Uh, tech armor, throw, warp, overload, okay. Uh, what, did, what was Vanguard stuff? Biotic charge, pull, and shockwave. It's all about close range. Adept. Adepts are outfitted with the L5X implants that can spawn micro-singularity damaging enemies and pulling them into the air. Power training, singularity, warp, throw, pull, shockwave. Weapon training, heavy pistol, SMG, adepts are biotic specialists capable of disabling and killing enemies with raw biotic power. While they lack advanced combat training, they are the best at defeating enemies without firing a shot. Engineers can spawn combat drones to harass enemies or force them out of entrenched cover positions. Power training is combat drone, overload, incinerate, AI, AI hacking, cryoblast. Weapon training is heavy pistol SMG. Engineers are tech specialists, the only class able to employ combat drones on the battlefield. Engineers are the most effective class at blasting through enemy defenses and disabling opponents. Hmm. <laughs> it does get ammo training as well, which is interesting. Hmm. I mean, Infiltrator sounds really fun, actually. I'm not going to lie. Soldier sounds fun, but is a bit too basic for my taste. Sentinel sounds interesting, but also a little bit basic. I wonder how they expand. Like, there was, there was another, not really a complaint about 
the first game, but the leveling, apart from stat bonuses, didn't feel uh, too heavy in terms of its effect, um, which is fine. And I guess it didn't help that I only used like two abilities. Maybe these abilities would be more enticing for me to want to use, but we'll see. Um, engineer. I don't know, I'm torn between Infiltrator and Vanguard. I think I'm just going to stick with Vanguard because that's kind of what we've done and it is kind of my playstyle. It'll probably get me killed a bunch, but screw it. We're doing it. Dinglebird Shepherd. What a legend. Colonist. Ruthless. Vanguard. Let's go. Once you confirm your character is complete, you'll be unable to change any settings. That is fine. Showing an awareness of his surroundings. Oh my god, Miranda. I think he's waking up. Damn it, Wilson. He's not ready yet. Give him the sedative. Shepard, don't try to move. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. The stats pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dose. Now. Heart rate dropping. Stats falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. Have a thermal clip. It's a med bay. We'll get you a clip from. Damn it! Those canisters by the door are going to blow. Get behind cover now. Keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the blast. Someone's hacking security, trying to kill you. Look That's my for melee button, apparently. For your pistol. Uh. Sense still feels a little high. Hang on. Uh, controls. Apologies while I try and get everything tweaked again. Right, twenty percent. Yeah, hey, that feels better. Find a thermal uh, and get moving. Yeah, yeah, Miranda, you're nagging me already, and I don't care for it. Hey, okay, nice. Looks like they set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. That guy's dead. W and spacebar to vault. Look okay. Out. So we've got a full-on reload mechanic now, which is pretty cool. I didn't mind the overheating system, but it got a bit tedious towards the end. There. Punch. Show yourself. Thirty headshots to do something. Oh. Oh. Hey, that works. That already feels like it's got a little bit more weight to it, which is cool. That loot. Let me take it. H. Okay, yeah. She's still 
Holster. Nice. That's a big one. Seems bad. More reinforcement. Grenade Get launcher. Use the grenade launcher to take them. <laughs> take the elevator down one floor. That seems like a bad hole to have. Uh, Hurry. Get to the door. Run. Storm through the fire. Sure, did it. the stuff no Cerberus laptop progress is slow but subject shows signs of recovery major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity in an effort to accelerate the process we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion Initial results show promise. Okay. 1700 credits. Nice. Lock update. The cost of this project is astronomical. Over 4 billion credits so far. But nobody seems to care that we've gone over budget. I don't know where the boss gets all his money. Maybe it's better not to know. I just wish he'd kick a little more in my direction once in a while. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. I can't tell if it's that weird mouse setting, but let me try turning mouse down. To... I feel like that, that like mouse acceleration. Oh God, Jesus! Never mind. Take it back. That's awful. But <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. My bad. Put that back on. There, that's so much better. Right, yeah. Uh, you're... A casual turnaround. There you go. I will say that was a very anticlimactic... Uh, explosion? Rocket thing? Whatever he used? work here if you can't touch type geez all right let's keep going Hasta. Come on over. Shut. What the hell? On charge. Your gun. what are you doing here i thought you were still a work in progress are you with miranda yeah sorry i forgot this is all new to you right now i'm jacob taylor I've been stationed here for- Hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed. Dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. How does that work? That's... I'm having some trouble wrapping my head around this. Yeah, I can imagine. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. I mean, so am I. Where are my abilities? 
Hold left shift to access your command menu. Move your mouse over the pole power. What? Oh, Sendiary ammo. Imaging shockwave ram into an enemy with incredible force. And three predator heavy pistol, reliable, accurate sidearm, effective against armor, weak against shields and bionic barriers. Already using incendiary rounds. Okay. I want to equip incendiary rounds. Have a nice trip. Tell an enemy to use pole. <coughs> oh, there we go. Just give the order and I'll hit him with a biotic power. Probably just shoot him. Pull it. Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting edge technology. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus face. only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Sounds fun. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. Wait, hang on. Uh, Asari, Liara... Quarry in the helmet. What about Rex and Garrus? I guess Ashley. Do you know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. Who are you? What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant, but I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Not a very good a job. a lot more dull than this. Normally, I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. So, this attack? Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye. Then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting at us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. Mm. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best if we- Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell? Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. 
The service tunnels are this way. What's this? Set my key bindings again. Uh, eight. Do that, and then cross it. Seven can be that one, I guess. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. Oh, I think that actually shows you like the ammo type. Examine this. Oh, I'm going that way. Ominous hallway. They've seen us. Damn it! This room is crawling with. Death. Is there a stealth button? Right. Like... Is there a... Hang on. Sorry. I know I'm stopping and starting. I'm just trying to work out. Uh, walk. Use cover sprint. Uh... Guess not. Because based on the like the stealth pass, I, I wasn't sure if there's a stealth mechanic or anything like that. Wilson, where are you? Server room B. Hurry, they're out of control. Up those stairs, Shepard. Oh God, I'm hit. They shot me. You all dead? Double checking. So far, she's on my team. Shepard, down here. Oh, okay, sorry. Just checking. Bastards got me in the leg. You were there the first time I regained consciousness. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Should be some meta gel in the first aid station on the wall. Hopefully there's enough to get him up and moving again. Grab the metagel from the first aid station on the wall. What the hell was that noise? Wilson's hurt bad. He needs help. And? Hold left shift to access your command menu. Move your mouse over the unity power. Revives any wounded fallen squad member. You're not in Thanks, my squad. Shepherd. Never thought you'd save my life. Guess that makes us even now. Hmm? I thought maybe I could shut down the security mechs, but whoever did this fried the whole system. Completely irreversible. We didn't ask what you were doing. Why do you even have security mech clearance? You were in the bio wing. Weren't you listening? I came here to try and fix this. Besides, I was shot. How do you explain that? You're all strangers to me. Let's get someplace safe, then we'll sort out whose fault it is. Right, Shepard. We need to find Miranda. We can't leave her behind. Forget about Miranda. She was over in D-Wing. The mechs were all over that sector. There's no way she survived. A bunch of mechs won't drop Miranda. She's alive. Then where is she? Why haven't we heard from her? There are only two possible explanations. She's either dead, or she's a traitor. All oh, the comms are down, you fucking idiot. Either way, we can't help her. Uh, I don't like known her long enough to trust her. This project was Miranda's baby. She'd never sabotage it. Okay, maybe she's not a traitor, but that doesn't change the facts. We're here, she's not. 
We need to save ourselves. The shuttle bay is only a few. Yeah. We can overload the canisters to clear a path through the shuttle. These mechs don't know when to quit. He's overload on the crates. Oh, ow. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, don't do that. That was a bad idea. Okay, we took him down. But this is getting tense. Shepard, if I tell you who we work for, will you trust me? No, this really that's isn't not how that works. Jacob. We won't make it if he's expecting a shot in the back. If you want to piss off the boss, it's your ass, Jacob. The Lazarus Project. The program that rebuilt you. It's funded and controlled by Cerberus. Wait, isn't that the... We took those down. That's not true. Uh, sounds familiar. Why would Cerberus save me? You lied to me. You told me you were with the Alliance. I don't like being played for a sucker. I didn't lie to you, Commander. I was with the Alliance before I joined Cerberus. The Alliance declared you dead. They gave up. Cerberus spent a fortune to bring you back. Yeah, they were experimenting on stuff. Suspicious too. But right now we have to work together. I thought you deserved to know what's what. All right. So far, you're Once the good one. the station, I'll take you to the elusive man. He'll explain everything. That's a shit name. I promise. Elusive man. Is he in charge of all this? Yeah. That's not his real name, of course. Nobody knows who he really is. It was a code name the Alliance used for him. Kind of stuck. I don't care what his name is. He just needs to answer my questions. All of them. He spent a lot of money and time bringing you back. Still wounded? I guess that's shield. Open We're sesame. I'm going in. Get Wilson moving, you turd. Try this again. I need to try my special ability. I will shoot you, Jacob. Open over or it's over here. So do I just keep, like... Burns through armor, sets enemies on fire, and damages health. Huh. Was that about specialized ammunition? See a data thing back here, and I want it. Oh, to see that Shepard can still only sprint for like 10 seconds, if that. Test subject has been recovered, but the damage is far worse than we initially feared. It's trippy. In addition to the expected burns and internal injuries from the explosion, subject has suffered significant cellular breakdown due to long term exposure to vacuum and sub zero temperatures. Despite the extent of the physical trauma, Wilson assures me subject is salvageable. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Come on over! Oh, I put the... hang on. <laughs> so I can put their abilities on. Why can't I put my own ability on the thing? It's 
constantly picking it. I don't want that ability. Why can't I? I am so confused. Highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. When you found two matching symbols, select them to complete the circuit. Complete all circuits before you run out of time to bypass security. Uh... That one? Nope. Okay, that's cool. Make 20 enemies scream. Uh... So yeah, how minimize one? Oh, okay. No, I don't want. Yeah, this go on there. I'm assuming Medigel's still the same button. Getting a bunch of stuff. Hang on, let me just double check. Two bindings. Uh, it was V, right, originally? Maybe not. Hmm, maybe it's just the... Perhaps any wounded fallen squad member. It's just through that. I don't know. We'll see. Come on. Through here. We're almost at the... Miranda. But you are... Dead? What the hell are you doing? If she didn't, I would. My job. Wilson betrayed us all. I knew he was lying. I had a feeling Wilson was just looking for a chance to shoot me in the back. Good instincts. Some people are far too trusting to ever see that coming. Come on, let's grab this shuttle and get out of here. My boss wants to speak to you. You mean the elusive man? I know you work for Cerberus. Ah, Jacob. I should have known your conscience would get the better of you. Lying to the commander isn't the way to get him to join our cause. Well, since we're getting everything out in the open, is there anything else you want to ask before we go, commander? Why does your face look weird? What about the rest of the people on the station? This is the evac area. If they're not here now, they're not coming. Fair point. We can't leave without knowing for sure. We need to go back and look. Don't you get it? The only one worth saving is you. Everyone else is expendable. You are a right. bitch. We all knew the risks when we signed up. Without you, there's no point to any of this. I love how Wilson's just like crumpled up on the floor still. Convenient that you show up as we're leaving. Where were you during the attack? Besides trying to save your life? Wilson figured out I was helping you and he sent an army of mechs to take me out. I got here as soon as I could. Probably a little too soon if you ask Wilson. <laughs> Alright. She looks weird and she's a bit of a bitch, but so far she's kind of funny. Where are we going? Another Cerberus facility. The elusive man is waiting for you there. I'm not sure I trust you. This is the only shuttle off the station. You want to stay and rot with the mechs? Be my guest. Pull the bluff. You spent too much time and money. You're the Lazarus Project's director, aren't you? That's right. I put two years of my life into this project. Into you. What does Cerberus want from me? Maybe you should ask the elusive man when you meet him. He poured virtually unlimited resources into Lazarus. Obviously, he has some kind of plan for you. Odd, considering I tried to dismantle his facility last time. Sure. I've had enough of this station to last a lifetime. Or two, in your case. Come on. A sassy bitch. Kinda cool though. Before you meet with the elusive man, we need to ask a few questions to evaluate your condition. Come on, Miranda. More tests? Shepard took down those mechs without any trouble. That has to be good enough. It's been two years since the attack. The elusive man needs to know that Shepard's personality and memories are intact. Ask the questions. Did you say two years? I've been gone that long? Two years and twelve days. 
and you were on an operating table for most of it. The sooner we start, the sooner we can be done. Start with personal history. Okay. Records show you were a colony kid. Lost your parents when slavers hit Mindwar. You enlisted and led troops during some heavy fighting, most notably on Torfin. Do you remember taking on some Batarian slavers? Those bastards were dug in deep in a fortified bunker. I sent a lot of good soldiers to their deaths. That's how it had to be. You got the job done. That's all that matters. Satisfied, Miranda? Almost. Let's try something more recent. Vermeer, where you destroyed Saren's cloning facility, you had to leave one of your squad behind to die in the blast. Lieutenant Caden Elenko was killed in action. It was your call. Why did you leave him behind? Because I didn't like him. Being in command means that sometimes you give orders knowing that your people are going to die. That can't affect your decisions. Caden gave his life for the rest of the team. Without him, I couldn't have stopped Saren. He died a hero. I understand, Commander. And I wasn't judging your decision. Everybody at Cerberus knows that cloning facility had to be destroyed. There are other tests we really should run. Come on, Miranda. Enough with the quizzes. The memories are there, and I can vouch for Shepard's combat skills personally. I suppose you're right. We'll have to hope the elusive man accepts our little field test as evidence enough. So weird. Sometimes the facial animations look quite good, and then sometimes they look awful, but I can vibe with it.